Welcome to the administration video for Forte. Right now we're going to go in here and I'm going to show you basically how to set up the template and all the settings. First we're going to look here at the module manager and the module setup. Uh, below this in the documentation here you'll see it all written out but I'll just go over it really quickly here for you. And let's go ahead and go over here to select type. This is a, um, a good way to um, find things. And then over here we've got the positions. This is another good way to find stuff. So let's go ahead and see our menu bar left. Menu bar left here is a menu module. And you're just going to want to select your main menu. And you're going to want to select the responsive layout. Next, let's look at the inset position. Here's our inset slide. We're using a custom HTML module here, our very own. And as you see here, all we're doing is have a little div class with the main slide header. And we just put our logo image here with an IMG call. Of course, you want to have the module class, no pad, no margin. That gives a module no padding and no margin. And then when we move into user one, Again, it's a Gemlexity HTML module, and here we have some featured text. So we did it with a div class, and then you see a beautiful responsive business template for Joomla. If you're not familiar with divs and markup CSS stuff, you're just going to want to edit the text. Then you just want to, this is the A, the span makes it a color, and span makes it the color, and business template for Joomla. Same thing here, we have the notepad on the module class suffix. And as we go to user 13 now, we're going to see it's another custom HTML module. Just with some custom HTML here. And then we'll look at the left 4. That's to the left of user 13. It's the same thing, same markup, more or less. Right 4, same thing. Then we go back into our modules here. Here's another one. This is user 19, custom HTML module. This is what makes that featured image of the office. You just call it with a IMG call. Here's the notepad suffix again. User 25 is another title here with text. There it is in the HTML, notepad. User 25, this is our Deluxe News Pro module. So we've gone ahead and selected our category front page. All you need to do is select the category you want to pull from. You need to select two rows, two columns, one page. And then you go over here to the template and you just select the Forte icon articles. Now, if you want to edit the markup that's in there, you can always go to the module um, via FTP and go into the Mod XSC Deluxe News Pro and go into the templates and find the Forte icon articles and edit it. But if you want to do it right here, you simply do this. In Joomla 3.0, it's going to show you an edit button here. But we're in 2.5 now, so what we have to do is we have to switch to another one and then switch back. And now you can load it right in here. So here's the markup for it. If you want to edit it and leave it set to none after you edit it. And then under the advanced options, here's the CSS for it. So you can actually do everything you need to do right in the module without actually going into the core files. The other thing that you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to set the alternative layout to bootstrap and give it the module class notepad icon articles. So let's go ahead and close that and move right along. And we have user 31. This is the grid articles, so it's the same thing. It's a Deluxe News Pro. Here you've got the grid articles. You can load it in there to edit it. As well on the grid articles, you want to set the alternative layout to float. Module class, notepad, grid articles. And then we have our footer. We're using our socializer wall to do the social icons. Socializer wall is really easy. You just put your link in it, and then you put your position. You know, one, two, three, or four. Um, we have a main area and a more area, so let's say that you wanted to have four big icons on top and then you want to have a bunch underneath. You put the ones you want on top in the main area and the other ones in the more area. But for the demo purposes here, 
we're basically just using this markup that you see right here. And you can always select the social footer there, and boom. And let's go over here and check out the alternative layout is float, and it's a notepad. And then here in the bottom, we have our disclaimer footer, which again is a custom HTML module. And it's mod blank, notepad, and then we have our markup here. So that's the basic layout of the front page. So let's go over here to the template manager real quick and let's take a look. These are your global settings, default layout, mobile detection off. Okay, this is a, a common problem that people have is they think that mobile detection needs to be on. The template is responsive. So you don't have to have the mobile detection on to have it resize and reformat for mobile. But if you wanted to say have another layout completely, what you would do is you turn the mobile detection on and that actually calls a totally different layout, the mobile layout. And you can edit that. But for most people, you just turn it off and everything's going to work out great. So here's the layout settings for the default and for the mobile template. So we're using the default. So we're using the grid style default. Here's where you set your template style. You can set it to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. Those are the styles. CSS3 effects, that's default. Typography is default. Over here in the grid settings, this is the main wrapper is 1140. And we have the responsive features on. If you don't want the website to resize on mobile and you don't want the responsive features, you can just turn it off. We do have a uh, sticky header if you want. We have it set for no in here. And then the header is a fixed or fluid width. So right now we have it set for fixed. The menu style, you can select between suckerfish, dual fish. If you install a different menu from a, like a third party person, you might want to select none here for the style because it will inherit their style instead of our styling. The main menu mobile width, this is the width of the template when you want the main menu to turn to the mobile menu. So if you never want it to turn to the mobile menu, set it to zero. Right now we have it set for 900. The region order, this is the region configuration. Like I showed you in the first video, you can go ahead and reorder how the template is laid out. There's 10 regions, so you would just change that to be like 1, 3, 4, 5, 3, 2, whatever you want. Uh, just make sure that you always have 3 in there because 3 is where the component is. So if you don't have 3, the subpages aren't going to show anything. So then these, this is the setup for the regions. Basically, you've got your padding top and bottom. Do you want it fixed or fluid width, padding left or right, and the mobile region hide width. This is a good thing if, say, you want to hide a whole region at a certain width, you just put that in there. And that goes for region all the way up to 10. Here's your footer settings. And here's your left. We have left, and then we have all the way up to left 8 here. And this is for the different region areas. Left and right would go in region three because that's where the component is. Left two starts right there at uh, region two. And then we go to four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now here you've got um, your spans. Now this is based on a 12 column grid. So what you're looking at here is a three column span means it's gonna take up a third of the 12 columns. So it's going to be the size of three, you know, two, four. So you can play around with this if you're not familiar with a bootstrap 12 column grid. You can change the sizes there and see and, and basically figure out exactly how that works. It's quite easy. And this is the separator between modules vertically. And we've also included a mobile show suffix width and a mobile hide suffix width. So if you want to show a module at a certain width, you would put in mobile show into the module suffix. If you want to hide it, you put mobile hide and this this right here is where you set when you want those to do that so now let's move into the style settings we're gonna look at style one now um, so here this is the blue one so we have a background color for the body and this is for the body front page the background image as you see right here that's the blur JPEG and the image position body sub pages now this is for everything other than the home page. There's the background color, there's the background image, and the image position. Body mobile, same thing. Once you go down to the mobile level, you know, we can change it. Style color scheme. These are base colors, and as you'll notice in each style, 
it's very easy. If you want to change these blues that you're seeing, you just can change it in one place. One or two places and it changes the whole color. This is the header information here. This is the website logo image. So you basically upload your logo to the templates, images, logos folder. And then you can select it from here. This is the logo width and height. And that's the width and height of your image and the padding. Now when we go to the mobile level, this is where we're going to swap it out. If you want it to go at 900 to be a smaller image, you would go ahead and put that in here, 900, and it becomes smaller, and you select the website mobile logo, along with the height and the width and the padding. Here's your menu settings. You've got your wrap background color, the menu background color, item background color, item hover color, item hover color background, the text color, the text hover color, the text active color. Then you have the drop down menu. You have the background color for the drop down, the item color, the hover background color, and the item active background color, as well as the text colors here. And here's your regions. So each region can have an outer wrap background color, an outer wrap background image, the image position, and then the inner wrap, which is that 1140, the fixed width of the site. You can have another background color, image, image position. Okay, and so now we have mobile width. So let's say that you're using a image in here and you want the image to swap out at say 800 here. You would select swap. If you don't want to have any backgrounds, nope, yes. Backgrounds at mobile level, yes. No backgrounds, no. Swap, it swaps them out for you. So that's basically done so you can go ahead and resize background images because a lot of times you're going to have like really large background images if you have your full site and once you get down to the mobile level you really don't need to be delivering that large image you know over a network with bandwidth and everything so you can basically resize the images and swap them out so it's a lot more mobile friendly so this basic formula works for everything here the little difference here with region 3 is we do have a component background color if you want to have the left and the right wrap different colors the entire wraps fine and then it just repeats down here all the way down to the footer and you've got a footer background color wrap and a footer background color now this is your default module so for your default module you can have a background color on it you can have a title color a first word color and a second word color and now we get into the typography so this is your body this is the page title, this is the article title, this is your category title, then you have your H1 through 6, your global link color, the hover, the active, and the visited. So now let's get into CSS3 effects. The CSS3 effects, the hover effect basically does hover effects on items that you have the class appended to it. You can see that in the buttons that we have on the website, on the main menu. Instead of just changing the color when you hover, it actually fades in. So it's more or less a hover fade effect. And you've got your transition property, which is all, so it'll do everything, and your effect speed, and the timing. Responsive animation, if you turn this on, when you pull the site in, it might be fun to show your customer. Um, everything animates as it resizes. And as you saw in the demo, um, the component is flying in. When you go to a subpage, it scrolls up. You can turn that off right here. Or if you want it to come down, you set down, left, right. Or if you just want it to fade in, you set it to fade. Our typography settings, here's where you do all the fonts that you want to use and all of the sizes from the main menu to the component to the component heading the content category heading the article module breadcrumb h1 through 6 and you can select font faces here and finally the advanced settings the advanced settings you have CSS mode um, depending on how your server works you might want to test this some servers have some problems with uh, head, head embedding and single filing but separate files is basically pulls every CSS file in separately. Single file compiles them all into one and head embedding it places all of it in the head of the template. Front page components, no components, all or all components or a select component. 
as you saw on the front page, there is no component. So if you select all components, then your all components will show on the front page. But we just wanted to use a layout using none of the core components on the home page. So if you want to have something like um, featured articles on the home page, you just want to use Joomla content, then you can go ahead and select all components or the co content component itself. Include jQuery. We have a toggle here. There's a few things that we have going on that require jQuery and Joomla now uses jQuery and we've given you a toggle here. You can turn it on or off. So if you're having a problem with say a third party extension that you've installed and it's not working or some of our stuff isn't working, this gives you a quick way to see if it's the jQuery that's uh, having a conflict and then you can debug from there. So that's going to conclude um, our tutorial video of the administration side of the template. Uh, I hope this has been helpful and go ahead and read the full docs below and I hope you enjoy Forte. We'll see you next time.